Life Simmer, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Together Part 4. So, in the previous part, Valentina and Paolo started to get a little bit more romantic, and all was good, and Sabrina unfortunately had to go to work, so that really sucked. But I think today I'm going to have them both skip school and work because <laughs> what is responsibilities, am I right? Let's just forget that we have those. And they're both going to skip and just kind of chill together for a little bit. In the next part, we are heading to the Von Haunt Manor, and we're going to do the whole spooky Von Haunt video that I've really been wanting to do because I love stuff like that. I do not like scary movies, but I love weird stuff that is, I guess, in a way kind of spooky, like the Haunted Mansion at Disney World. It's not exactly scary, but it's weird and a little spooky in some ways. You know, that's what I'm into. So yeah, also a holiday giveaway will be coming very soon. I am filming it tonight and it's going to be pretty massive, so stay tuned for that. And if you don't celebrate the holidays, hey, you know my motto, if it's free, it's for me. So just look at it as as what it is, a giveaway. Anyway, so we're going to head into the house. Um, We actually need to, I believe, call in for work and say, hey, <laughs> we're not going in today about that. <laughs> Whoops, yep, sorry about it. All right, Sabrina has taken a vacation day off. Um, one thing I actually wanted to show you guys is she got this moodlet. Woohoo in a bush. When this bush is a rockin', I could honestly make a really dirty joke. What we need to do is actually purchase a couple of things. We can't even afford a toilet right now. Actually, we probably could afford a toilet right now, but we're not, yeah, we could. Honestly, I could sell a bush and get a toilet, but I'm not doing that. I like the bushes. Honestly, I prefer them in a really creepy way. We need a trash can and we need it now. <laughs> so we're going to purchase this ugly little one <laughs> that looks like it belongs in the corner of a four-year-old's room. Perfect. And oh wait, is this turtle one the same price? Forget it. Get out of here. If I can have a turtle one, I'm getting a turtle one. So we have our turtle trash can and we're also going to go ahead and get this activity thing. I saw this when I was browsing the catalog really quickly and I was like, oh my gosh, that is amazing. It is a 50 simoleon hip to the max cardboard dance floor. Um, we're going to put that right here and I believe we can, yeah, can we dance? Oh, there has to be music. Oh, damn it. I can't really fit it in her bedroom. But we can show off our moves and do like a dance battle. Who's getting a call? Valentina is. Hi, Valentina. It's me, Paulo. Do you want to go on a date? Okay. First of all, need I remind you, she is a minor. <laughs> She's a teenager. And he's like, let's go on a date at 8 a.m. at the nightclub. Okay. He goes to work at 2 p.m. I checked. So, yeah, we're going to head out on a morning date to the club. <laughs> Because that's healthy. With Mr. Paulo, um, maybe order a drink. Because once again, that's just, just lovely. But yeah, he actually goes to work at 2 p.m. I um, I love this. I never knew we could do this. The fact that we can actually check what time our friends are working. Really, really useful. This might have come with an update. I don't know. I just noticed it like today. And I'm like really happy with this. To be honest, you can kind of get their schedule. So he works um, Tuesday from 2 to 9. So honestly, he's going to be leaving rather shortly. However, Mondays and Thursdays, he gets off. So Monday and Thursdays are kind of our boo thing days. You know, we'll go on our dates or our little romantic stuff. So yeah. And Siobhan works Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Like, um, and just a nine to five job, like most normal people. But we are going to, I guess, kind of flirt with him. I definitely kind of have like a backstory I want to follow with the whole woohoo thing with these two. I think it'd be like really spicy in a way, you know? So maybe we'll have our first kiss. Not today because he took us to the freaking club. I don't think so, boy. You're not getting a kiss from me if you took me to. He's, why are you talking about beds? You better stop it now. But yeah, I'm not going to, you know, give him a kiss um, just because he took us to the club at 8 a.m. in the morning. If you guys hear snoring, it's also my dog. <laughs> but can we just talk about how freaking gorgeous this place is? It is 8 a.m., like I stated, and it looks like we're in the Bahamas. That is the vibes I'm getting from this location in Windenburg. It is a Euro-based 
town with like modern touches to it. However, over here, I'm feeling like I'm in the Bahamas, which by the way, I haven't been to the Bahamas in almost two years. What? Like it was 10 out of 10, <laughs> like 10 out of 10. Absolutely beautiful. And it just reminds me of Bohemian water, which is so gorgeous. But um, yeah, we are going to blow him a kiss. We're not going to give you one, honey. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We're going to sexy pose just to let him know that we are seriously super sexy. Let him know what's up, girl. Let him know. Do a little pose. Get down tonight. Oh, I love it. Yes, he's feeling us. Living for it. But um, we are actually going to head inside really quickly since I know he'll be leaving soon. What? What? Oh, my gosh. I didn't know you were auditioning for the X Factor because that is some skill. We're going to come up here and order our favorite drink because I find this new. Are you leaving? Okay. Wow. He was with us for 20 minutes, if that, I guess. But um, I love this new interaction, the favorite drinks thing, because it just adds that little touch of personality to the game that I really, really admire. There's like no work put into it, if that makes any sense. It's just something that's randomized and it just adds another nice touch of personality to your sim. So I really like that. And I love that it's like randomized and that you can't pick it. So I also really appreciate that. But she is getting a little hungry. So she's just going to order a nice drink. And then we're probably going to head to the cafe, pick up something to go if we can do that, and then head back home because I did have Sabrina skip work today. So I'm just going to have her go ahead and tidy up a little bit. Since we now have a trash can and it has a turtle on it, we're like pretty official. All right. And here we go. Valentina's favorite drink is sour punch that sounds like something she would actually be very into she's still very you know young and everything and i feel like younger kids are more into the sour fruity sort of things you know because like you watch the movies and it's like the old men are like get me a bottle of whiskey you know what i mean and like the young girls are like um i'll have a cosmetologist can i even say it i'll have a cosmo <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like that that's pretty accurate right there. But yeah, she's just going to have her drink really quickly. And we are going to quickly head over to this coffee shop right here. Um, yeah, forget the drink. Let's head to the coffee shop. Uh, this coffee shop is seriously so adorable. You guys saw it from the outside. It has like a nice touch of modern twang to it. It reminds me of something that we would see in like LA, you know? So I'll show it to you guys from the outside. It's called the Hair and Hedgehog. All right. She's like feeling herself right now. She's feeling so flirty. Can we send a flirty text? We can. Oh my. No. Not sending it to Luna or Sophia. Forget it. Never mind. <laughs> so here is the outside. And it is definitely very LA to me. The screams like, oh, I'm going to get a juice this morning. You know, it's so LA. That's just the best way I can put it. I'm actually going to take a really cute, nice picture of this because it's really nice. Um, can I speak? I'm so sorry. But the only complaint I have is when we go inside, the walls are very weird. This is not making me happy. <laughs> so I have to put it on all the walls up for it to look like this because if you guys can see right here is like a little opener or something. I'm not quite sure why I have to do that, but I like to play with my walls kind of up, kind of half down the medium setting. So it's a little unfortunate that you have to go kind of pretty much just in between right there. But we're just going to come in here really quickly and order ourselves, um, I guess really quickly for hair, uh, a scone real quick. Just get a scone for breakfast and Dina Caliente's hair. I wonder what um, what group she would like to join. I could see her maybe the party house. Maybe the Paragons. Nancy Landgrab, definitely the avant-garde. I mean, it's Lance, it's Nancy Landgrab. In case you guys don't know, like the background of the Landgrabs, they're very wealthy. Oh my gosh, it's my boo. How are you? I don't even know his name. Camden, that's what it was. Hey, Camden, forever loving your lip gloss. Love him, like BFF status. In the future, I'm just saying. 
it's, hap- it's gonna happen. Anyways, here's our scone. Let's take a look at our scone. It's like we have a little side of jelly, which is super cute. Who's joining us? You remind me of my grandma and Clara Bera. Hey, honey. Hey, boo. How are you doing? She's like the new Eliza Pancakes, but obviously the awesome Eliza Pancakes because me and Eliza Pancakes, I do not like her. But Clara Bera, honey, I love her. She's just making out with random strangers at the club, but then she shows up at the coffee house in like a pantsuit. Love her. And who's this hottie right here? This is Candy. She is in the Spin Masters. That's where I've seen her before. And her hair is quite crazy. It reminds me of um, The Sims Busting Out, if you have ever played it. There was like a DJ house, like a club. And one of the Sims looked very kind of similar to Candy. She had blonde hair as well. She was in a DJing, so it kind of reminds me of her. But anyways, let's just eat our scone and get out of here. Wow, so rude. Wow, this poor little old lady was minding her own business. Just... Well, actually, she wasn't minding her own business at all, sitting down with us. Never mind. Never mind. You were right. Oh, gosh. She, okay. She's like, not so fast, honey. Not so fast. We're just trying to eat. And then we're leaving. Hi, Clara. Yes, Clara, talk to us. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I love you. We're going to, can we like compliment everything about her? Ask about our love life, no. We're going to ask to see her swimwear. See if she's into that sort of thing. Let's see. Yes, of course she is. Love her. And now she's talking about handcuffs. All right, listen, we got to go, Clara. We're going to go ahead and head home, like I said, because Sabrina took the day off and I want them to work on their skills a little bit. So we're just going to head home. It's about noon, so still early in the day what i want to do is work on our dj skill and also our dancing skill and then tonight we're gonna hit the club because why not we can okay guys i really need to uninstall this freaking mod i really need to <laughs> i feel like we haven't had a lot of time to play with sabrina yet so i'm excited to i guess work on her a little bit oh she's getting a call hey i heard your friends with Siobhan, she's pretty cool. Okay. I guess she is. Why Why are you friends with, with her? I guess. They, they are friends. This is a little awkward for Valentina, who plans to overthrow her. Hmm. Okay, then. We're going to have Valentina. She's going to start off by, um, oh, you can exercise on this. That is awesome. You can do push-ups and stretch and do sit-ups. Um... We're going to, I just come over here. We'll move it outside for today. That's what we'll do. It's a beautiful day out. Let's just move the DJ booth outside for now and have a nice little dance session and DJ session. So Valentina is going to come over here and dance. Valentina, no, 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 no. Why does it say she's at work? Not Valentina, Sabrina. Why does it say you're at work? Kind of okay. You know what? We made simoleons. <laughs> I'm all good. She earned 73 simoleons, but performed poorly at work today. Whatever. <laughs> as long as we earn simoleons, ooh, and her work performance is quite down. So definitely gonna have to go into work tomorrow and work very hard. But let's actually look really quickly at our aspirations. She wants to introduce herself to 10 Sims. We're currently at five. So. So we're going to try to finish that tonight. And Valentina's lifetime aspiration is she wants to perform 10 club activities. So hopefully we will be able to complete that in the next part and be in a club gathering for 12 hours. I think in the next part, when we go to the Von Haunts, it's going to be kind of like Scream Queens inspired and they're all going to head out to the hedges together and everything. The Paragons, I think that'd be kind of fun. But um, if you watch Scream Queens, well, now it's over. But if you watched Scream Queens, what is your opinion on the ending? Don't spoil it for anyone uh, because, you know, people might have not watched it and they might want to go listen to it. But if you did watch it, what was your opinion on the ending? I don't know. Use like a fake name for the culprit. Use like, let's name her Minty Mint. Okay, color Minty or something, the culprit. 
or him. What do you guys, what do you guys think? Music must be playing nearby to perform this interaction. Well, music is playing, so what do you mean? All right, well, she's going to come over here and show off the arm charm. Let's go ahead and check out some of the dance moves that she can do. So here is the arm charm. All right, cool. Maybe like if she enhances her dancing skills, she will think Paula will find her super sexy because she knows how to dance. And there's nothing sexier than a girl who can dance. So she's going to work on her dancing skill. Oh my gosh, she's actually like horrible. <laughs> like I just hear like school buses and stuff going on back there. Oh, and she has a new moodlet. Fancy footwork. Valentina was showing off some fancy moves perfectly. All that practice paid off. Well, good for you. I would like to dance. A song must be playing for this interaction to work. Oh, this freaking sucks. I want her to I want her to dance. Do I need to purchase like a really small radio for now? That's really annoying if there's you know, even if it's horrible, she should be able to dance to it. I dance to a lot of not that great songs, but I make them work. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to buy a really small radio, even though we really cannot afford it. We really, really cannot afford it. We're going to turn on some pop music. She's really hungry, but not today. All right. And we are going to... Why can't I dance? There we go. Now we can. Yes, we're going to come over here and dance. And Sabrina has reached the DJ mixing level too. Sabrina can now play new genres of music and switch between available genres while DJing. Yes! Wow! Wow! Really? Other Sims will also be able to enjoy the performance via dancing or watching. So we can go ahead and delete that radio and hopefully get full refund. That would be awesome because our bills are going to be coming soon. We can barely afford to eat. That'd be nice. But the song that's playing is actually Tori Kelly. She covered one of her songs in Simlish, so. The more you know, but we're gonna go ahead and delete it because we need all the simoleons we can get. By the way, Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Let me talk about what he said. So Tori was like, she posted on Twitter. She's like, oh my gosh, I covered a song in Simlish, right? And he responded. I died when I read this. He responded, what the actual fuck? I died. I legitimately died right then and there. I'm like, he is too funny. He is too funny for tweeting that. <sighs> Anyways. So yes, we're able to just dance now. So hopefully we can get up our dancing skill and maybe our DJ skill by the time we go out tonight. But like um, they said, she can actually switch between different music genres. So now we can play machine music. So let's go ahead and switch over to machine and see what we get. And oh, you can see that the DJ booth has like the emojis on her laptop over there. And it did change colors and we have some moldy food in the corner. So we're really bumping. So we can switch between machine and grooving let's switch it to grooving all right and this one is about to level up her dancing skills so let's see what we get all right valentina can now discuss dance techniques with other sims on the dance floor she can also show off the pump pop dance move Ooh. okay um let's see the pump pop <laughs> Paragons who? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. This has a little bit of like, like seriously. I don't even know what I would call this. A little bit of, I don't know, beast in it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, yes. Yes, can, can I please just dance, dance. You're pretty hungry, but... You'll eat once you level up again. She's so close to leveling up once more. Oh my gosh, she's a dancing level three. She is a dance machine. Oh my gosh, yes. Picture needed. 
All right, Valentina can now show off the Jimmy leg. Is that the stanky leg? But for the Sims, I will die if it is. Valentina also received, what did she receive? Valentina also received a portable dance floor in her inventory so she can take it anywhere. Yes. Oh, yay, they gave us, oh, wow. They gave us a cardboard dance floor. Yay, I'll sell that one for 50 simoleons. And we still have our drink. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna show off the Jimmy leg. All right, we're gonna show off the Jimmy leg and then we're gonna eat because we're heading to the club rather soon. But let me see this Jimmy leg. Oh, yes. Oh, her back gave out. If Paolo doesn't find this so intriguing, then there's something wrong with him. Wow. Anyway, she's like super hungry. So she's going to serve up some dinner for her and her sister. She will make some frank and beans. Yeah, she's like, I'm done dancing. I'm going to go make some beans now. I'll be back. <laughs> Let's move the bowl out of the way. Can we actually toss it in our turtle trash can? Yes, we can. Oh, no, we can't. Well, we can, but I didn't get it right. There we go. All right, and Sabrina is out here doing her thing, and she just reached the level three of the DJ mixing skill. Wow, I was not expecting her to level up. Sabrina can now play a new genre of music and switch to available genres while DJing. Sabrina will... Sabrina will also be able to discuss DJ techniques with other sims. So she can now play chiptune, which for gaming videos is one of my absolute favorite musics. Musics, that makes no sense. One of my absolute favorite genres to put in the background of like my videos because it's so fun and 8-bit. And obviously video games used to be very 8-bit. So it's kind of my inspiration when I use chiptune. But let's go ahead and put it on. Did she switch to it? There it is. Oh, I love it. It reminds me of Animal Crossing. She's definitely feeling herself with that stench over there, definitely. That's not stench, that's supposed to be there. It's an effect at the DJ table. Anyways, guys, so she actually has a moodlet that says, I'm a DJ. They love me. They really know. I'm a DJ. Your sim can listen, spin, and scratch beats. With those cool new headphones, with those cool headphones and dance steps, your sims look right at home. Uh, now that we're level three, we can actually apply to be in the spin timers. We're going to do that in the next part, though. And we're also going to head to the club in the next part. But what I'm going to do is give Valentina her dance mat. <laughs> and like I said, we will be heading to um the club. But she's, oh, she has a grilled cheese sandwich in her inventory. Girl, go ahead and scoop that up. Eat it. Yeah, she's going to snack on that. Her sister made a huge bowl of franken beans. But little did I know, we had a grilled cheese sandwich in our inventory but what i wanted to do is actually put up some of their pictures together i think making like a big heart on the wall would be really cute or something uh let's see they'll take a new one tonight when he gets off at 9 p.m we'll invite him to the club uh we'll put up i like i think i like it in black and white i think it's a little bit more romantic so we're gonna sell those and so far, we have one picture of many on our wall. So yes, guys, we are going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you all enjoyed it. So don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. And I will see you guys at the club in the next part. Bye, guys.